Boy, howdy. That was uh, definitely not what I expected. Although, I have to say again, I do love that the companions are intricately interweave, interwoven. Like, a part of the story where I am not the only solution. I actually really enjoy this a lot, right? That um, each person is somehow intimately involved in this. That we each have our own guardians, like... All this stuff. Oh, by the way, my theory on the Guardian. Okay, I don't know if I've already said this, but my theory on the Guardian that I thought up of like months ago at this point is that, right, well, not months, but like a month ago? I don't know, weeks ago. Um, is that the Guardian is essentially the manifestation of the artifact. Um, again, maybe I've already said this, but I think it is the, it is the manifestation of the artifact, um, one that is designed potentially to make you more comfortable, um, because it probably is fairly formless, um, and so that's what I, that's what I designed my guardian for. I'm actually really bad. I didn't, I didn't take a lot of time on this guardian. Um, I'd spent a lot of time on my other guardians, and I'm actually really mad, because this one's, like, she, she was basically just generic guardian, like, 1.0, and now I'm mad, because you could, I found out later that you can make out with your guardian, and I'm like, dang it! <laughs> But it's okay. I have other games where I'm gonna <laughs> have a makeout session with my guardian. Um. Well, this is certainly a cool area wherever we are. Well, I guess we will. We will leave. We will leave Gale to his musings there. Broken moon? We already have a broken moon lantern. Somebody has it. I don't know who. What's hiding here? Probably me, honestly. Absolutist expedition Always key. Old architectural collection. Let's see. One shows an elevator leading from the wilds outside a town called Rithwin to the Underdark. So we are under Rithwin right now, maybe? I don't know. Or no, we are in Rithwin, maybe? Or are we still in the Underdark, technically? It... I don't think it's going to tell me. I wonder if that key was for that chest that was below. Hang on, where is it? Well, how do I fix a broken moon lantern? Broken oh. moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Oh, I don't know how to fix it. See, I have two. Um, I don't think I have anybody who can fix anything. Or... Hmm. It's metal bent beyond repair. So is that like an indication? La, da, da, da. Does her sword still have light on it? I don't think it does. Fiat Lux! <laughs> Yeah, I think the light is on path. her sword. Away. What's inside? Scroll of cloud kill. Orders. Read. I have been given the crucial task to clear the entrance to the Grim Forge for future expeditions. True soul near will follow once the entrance is cleared. As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help but feel excitement. What, what might we find here that Kethrak created so long ago, now sealed by the curse? Grim Forge could hold untold treasures for the absolute's uses. I will continue to explore and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble. Quite cursed. <laughs> explosives ought to do the job, though I'm not sh as experienced in such matters as I wish to be. I set up the explosives with care, though I admit I'm afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold, what might lie beyond, or whether I've even set the things up correctly. Absolute protect me. The absolute doesn't seem like much uh, for protection, and it looks like things did not go well for you. 
And you're in your room. What does this, what does this do? I am going to... Oh, Gale has, like, so many of my spells. Um, I'll take them, I guess. I, I feel like I should spread them out, but... Alas. To the Shadow Cursed Lands. Let's save. It got so quiet. I won't have to worry about the sun, at least. Oh, I mean, but I... J uh, kind of beautiful, but also feels like you could choke on your own breath here. It's the only way to Moonrise Towers. We have to push through. Ooh, it's all... Ooh, it's all bad. Let's see. I wonder if lighting fires How along the way How much farther can I go? This reminds me of the area that I never really got past. In Divinity 2. Torches. It does seem like I should carry a torch here, huh? No, I should... <sighs> the moon lantern. I wonder oh. if... I can't, I feel like the moon lantern would help. And I have, or I did have radiant powers. And we're, we have light on. Uh, maybe I should have brought Shadow Heart, although Shadow Heart technically shouldn't have radiant powers. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it seemed vain. I don't know why you have the chance to talk to the amulet so much if it's not gonna have anything to say. Ah, uh, torch though. Torch, torch, torch. I don't know if regular light will help. The only person with any divine light anymore is, uh... Shadowheart. But there's a bunch of torches strewn all over the place, so it makes me think it'll help. Eee? Oh, is that the... That's the guy. Oh, good. Uh, sorry, I am just, like, nervous. And I keep thinking I should maybe bring... Maybe bring Shadowheart for this. Haha, I found it anyway. Oh. We'll give that maybe to Will. There's torches everywhere. What do you want me to do with torches? Light things on fire. I can't see that enough. Oh, geez. There's a guy. Skellington. 
and a book. A dead druid's journal. Handwritten journal abandoned for some 50 years. Uh, in these conditions, it's not gonna stay. Details of Drew's attempt to learn more about the Shadow Curse. The entries grow shorter and more sporadic as time passes. Made good progress through the mountains, seeing the curse for the first time, filled with awe and fear that was difficult to describe. No writing could have prepared me, nor in any artist's rendition. As grave as the Archdruid Halson's warnings were, they were still lacking compared to the reality. I shall make camp soon and press on in the morning, though in truth, such terms have little meaning in this place. Also, why isn't Halson here? He said he'd come with us. A dreadful night. The campfire needed thrice the wood that would normally be needed in order to keep it burning. Terrible sounds came to my ears from beyond the firelight. Rest has not restored me. If anything, I feel weaker, but I must persevere. I must trust in Sylvanas. I must venture deeper. Okay, so resting in this place is probably a bad idea. Creatures from the darkness, foul things. One, ge one grazed me. Only my torch saved me. Okay, torches. It's deep darkness. Flames are instantly doused. Uh-oh, the wound stings. Flesh turning black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. I need to return to light. The wood will not burn. I can barely see the page. I am surrounded. What to do with the shadow curse? I truly hope this light isn't spreading. Great. I failed my nature thingamajig. I'm an idiot. I've lost my nature powers. Uh, I wonder if actually I, that has been affected. Uh, but torches are good, apparently. Let me let me see. I have a couple. Torch. Can't spell. Um, let's send one to Asterian. One to Will. Trust no one. You have a torch. Sharp as ever. You have a torch. I'd love to, thanks. You do not have a torch. Let's see if we have any more. Black Olander. Hello. Oh, okay. At least things have stayed interesting. Um, Light on my feet. Let me see. Quarter staff. I don't want it. I want a torch. I want an extra torch. Standing torch. Better not be cursed. Turn it back on. The standing torch is cursed. No for me. Please. Do not curse us with such things. Okay, everybody has a torch now. Still alive. So, that's progress. I don't necessarily want Another everyone forward. to be doing the torch Defender thing. Defender of the people. Maybe I'll have Will carry a torch too. One of my ranged guys carry a torch. Okay, now one melee and one ranged have a torch. I don't know what good this is gonna do me, but we can't sleep in here. And we need light, which we have regular light too. The moon lantern I think would be ideal, but I don't have any way to fix it. A board. Let's have a look. A magical boar. The animal never had a chance. The curse consumes everything it touches. Shadow cursed undead. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It is it is definitely gonna pop back up and try to attack us. Here we go. Here we go. That's how I sound. Hmm, I'll take that. Oh, uh, there's some black Olander in someone's pelvis. Eyes open. Watch the shadows. Hey! Oi! Hey, hold on, there's a person. I'm a god darn genius! This curse has people legging it. A couple of idiots begged me to run back and grab their stuff, but the ring, the ring is my ticket to the city. The old man was desperate. You should have heard the stop, sob story. Ellie May was his wife, love of his life, blah, blah, blah. I used to camp by her grave. Kind of weird, if you ask me. Anyway, she was buried with this family ring. It's deeper into the darkness. What are those noises? I'll grab it and be on my way to you. Baldur's Gate better prepare itself, because with the two of us in the city, we'll ring every last copper out of the place. Love you, Dandelion. See you soon. Yep, that did not... Did not go the way you wanted it to. Hmm. 
Alright, nothing else up here. But there is... There's a person down there. At least it seems like it. Yes, there is. Harp- a harper! Hey. Hey, I saw a dead harper earlier. How's it going? Stay together! Keep to the light! Oh, we're sneaking in our big, huge armor. I do blend in a little. Stop! Who's that? Oh my gosh, I'm like hiding behind a tree like an idiot. A nightmare in the dark. Um, why am I hiding behind a tree? My name is Olverdira Kenrin, who are you? First, come closer. Hands up. Why is this tree moving? Oh good, I'm failing everything today. I do look imposing. Look at me. Jonas, look out! What? Oh! He's fake. He's not real. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Uh, who's there? Meg? Is that? Jonas? Uh, he's undead now. Oh, gross. Oh, that's cool looking, actually. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get ready to fight. Two arms. Oh my gosh! Why are there spooky? <laughs> spooky, spooky season's over. Is it facing away? We don't have enough movement, are you serious? Let's try... Hold on a second. Outmaneuver them. The dark feels... Oh! Like it drain you dry. Oh. Hmm. I was trying to get back closer. here. There's a lot of spooks. Hey, who? Hey, what? What? There's one right next to me? Heck yeah, Hellish Rebuke. Get off. Get off. Oh, that guy is gonna die. They're like... Uh, can they not see? They're okay. We need to light the braziers as well. Oh, I should maybe stick... Make every strike count. Wow, why did she do that? Why are they trying to die? Oh my gosh, now he's gonna become undead. Gosh, I need to get a Asterion up, up by the fire, up by the light. Um... And wherever Karlak is, should be alright. 
under their noses. What? She didn't even hit it. Silenced stuff too. I'm gonna move back to people. Become invisible for two turns. Well, I don't think we need that just yet. Destroy them with light. Oh, so maybe not hitting them? There's a shadow vestige there. Oh, wow. Hope your soul is in good hands. Wow, 56 damage? I think I actually didn't actually click on which variant I wanted to use. I think I just hit it with a torch. <sighs> Okay, Asterion, I get you up here. I get you up here. You're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's use... E... We have fire. Oh, does that not count? It doesn't count, apparently. Let's have a little fun. Dark currents on what? On what? Uh, what? Hey. What? Oh boy, I do not understand how these guys work. Um, I think we need to switch. I'm actually, what is this? Other things on my mind. Because I was like, if we pick that up and destroy it. There's a shadow up here that a scary can't see. Maybe I need to come up there. I don't know. I don't know if that'll work. But I definitely need to get up there. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, you got your torch. Oh, there it is. I can see it now. Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Oh, why is Karlak the one? Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Safe place, you mean somewhere the shadows can't penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Interesting. Okay. Harpers, move out! Folk hero. Not another soul. Keep all harpers alive during the ambush with the shadows. Nope, the one guy died. Uh, so I don't know what that's about. You see an older woman on her knees scrubbing the floor of an inn. The patrons made a mess of things again the night before. So these are these are vestiges of people. Don't waste a step. Who died? Or who are, they're on they're unalive in some manner, in some way. He had dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world, but then the darkness came. In her former life, this girl played in the nearby woods. She was always the best at climbing trees. Wow, great. Way to make me feel sad. You sense a young woman gazing at Moonrise Towers in awe. 
Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it. She hopes. Cool, cool. No, I love, I love being sad. Wow, he has a bunch of rotten stuff. That why do you have that, my guy? I think there was another one over I'll here give it a shot. for more sad. Got to be more sad. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. My deer does not go that far, but it does. A what? What is? I just happened to sort of pan over there. Oh no, okay, it's behind it. I was like, it seemed like it was in the tree. I was, wait, is it? Ooh, no, it is over there. Yep, okay. I'm just hallucinating. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call things here. She said, go to the inn. So this is the only safe place to camp, perhaps. Oh no. Over here. I don't know what that is, but it is something. Jeez. Okay, that's over the mountain pass, and this is Moonrise Towers. Okay. Oh, this is definitely- this reminds- you know what this reminds me of? This 100% reminds me of, um, Shadow and Bone. I've only watched the TV series and only the first season, but this is definitely hardcore giving me, like, what is it, the- the- the crack or whatever? Like, that's not probably not what they call it, but the- not the void. Not- do they call it the veil? Like, Dragon Age? The dark veil, and the shadow guy, and the girl of light and everything. Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.